It is my pleasure to address the press and other stakeholders at this important occasion of the 2019 International Day of the Girl Child. The International Day of the Girl Child is celebrated annually on the 11th of October. The day was first marked by the United Nations General Assembly in 2012 to promote girls' empowerment and fulfillment of her human rights while also highlighting the challenges that girls all over the world face. You will agree with me that in the world today, being a girl child automatically makes most of them vulnerable to such issues as denial of access to education, inequality, child marriage, sexual violence, exploitation, and other negative vices. In some parts of Nigeria, the story of the girl child is worrisome. And when I begin to speak about the girl child, I think about myself as a girl, a woman, and a mother. So many marriages have broken down due to reasons relating, related to the wife giving birth to all girls, and many women have also lost their lives in the process of looking for a male child, not realizing that the girl child is a powerful being and a force that possesses unique traits and characteristics that make her not only a girl, but a force to be reckoned with if her potentials are properly harnessed. Ladies and gentlemen, the girl child of today transforms into a wife, a mother, a sister, a teacher, a nurse, and a counselor. With all this, one would expect that she would be the most respected and accomplished access across nations, taking giant strides in the different sectors of the economy. However, her strength, potentials, and virtues have been degenerated in most places as the girl child is marginalized, abused, exploited, neglected due to her sex and other social cultural practices. In Nigeria today, the 1999 constitution as amended stipulates that every child, boy or girl, has the right to education. However, there are over 13.5 million children that are not in school and are not receiving any form of training to help them improve their livelihood. Out of this number, 13.5 million children, the girl child constitute the highest number of about 60 or more percent. This is from the UNICEF report of 2017. Various forms of violence against children are known to affect the girl child more than the boys. The girl child is most often denied education in favor of her brothers. She is forced to carry she is forced into early marriage, thereby depriving her of her childhood. She is made to hawk and sometimes trafficked. Generally, when a nation fails to deliver basic services, the girls are the most affected. Educated girls will grow to become women who are empowered to care for themselves, their families, and their communities. The dividends of investing in the girl child education are immeasurable. It does not only bring the immediate benefits of empowering the girl child, it is seen as the best investment in the country's development. In realization of the benefits of educating the girl child, the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs has vigorously laid campaigns and continued to advocate for the domestication and implement, implementation of the Child Rights Act of 23, 2003 in all the 36 states of the Federation and FCT. These benefits will lead to poverty reduction, better health, better health outcomes, economic growth, reduced rates of child mortality, and malnutrition. This encourages her to uh, demonstrate her resolve to achieve her full potentials through unscripted but to remain unstoppable. On this note, I wish to urge all parents to value the girl child as a unique gift from God and, not, and also to note that gender is biological. Educate your girl child today and your family is guaranteed of a greater and a better tomorrow. I repeat, 
educate your girl child today and your family will be guaranteed a greater and better tomorrow. To my dear children, particularly the girl ch children, take your education more seriously because education is power. Education is wealth. Education is your future. Aspire to develop skills and, com and compete with uh, and competences that will place you positively and at a vantage position in life. Objectives are changing and it will change. Several girls are becoming first in different spheres of life today, particularly in the military. Uh, this next week, we are celebrating the first female uh, in the Air Force, uh, first female pilot that, has, that will be commissioned next week. Uh, the Chief of Air Staff is very excited about it and we are all very proud that girls are making waves, particularly in the military. I urge you all to continue to be advocates of the total well-being and proper development of the girl child in Nigeria. Once again, congratulations on this year's International Day of the Girl Child. God bless all our daughters. God bless you all. Thank you.